Okay, it's a Saturday morning here in the OK Turbo shop. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I think I'm going to try and repair this. I got the package from Scott at Dragon Rocketry, and he sent me some good parts. So, um, so I've got a whole new electronics bay, all the plywood parts and, and firewalls. I don't know, may go ahead and just reuse the uh, those bulkhead, whatever, firewalls since they're already all set up, but uh, the, the existing tray was kind of messed up. I got jacked around and beat up a little bit. And this uh, coupler tube for electronics bay was also messed up. So um, one good thing is uh, the new one he sent me actually has a doubler in it. So it's like a double wall. So it's much, much stiffer than the, than the original. So that should help toughen it up. So that's good. Thanks, Scott. And then he sent me some sections of tube. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to need the three inch tube. I think I can put it back together with the coupler and then we'll just kind of have to see. Cause I want to, I want to save as much of the existing tube as I can. So the idea is that I'll use this three inch coupler. He did send me a couple of these rings too, that go from the outside, the OD of the 54 millimeter motor mount tube to the ID of the coupler. So this is the end of the, motor tube as it came in the original kit. So I need to kind of extend that and then put a centering ring here and a centering ring here and then slide the coupler over it. Then I can get this piece and, and slide it down and make it all kind of happen. So um, I want a ring on the bottom side of this joint and a ring on the top that keeps everything centered here. Um, I think I may actually use some of this motor mount tube to make kind of a coupler on the OD of that. Um, we'll just kind of see how that works out. Um, it's one of these deals, you don't want to add too much weight, but you also want to make it strong enough to survive. So um, if you take this ring off, it's just kind of slid on here right now. One handed, let's see how I did. Okay, I got it off. So you take this ring off and then there's the Ford ring that was on the original motor tube. So I kind of want this this guy to go down as far as I can, but there's not a whole lot to hang on to there. That's why I want to kind of build up around it. I mean, if, if this ring was further down the tube, but of course that's the, that's kind of the stress concentration point, so that's where it busted anyway. So get this coupler tube like that with the rings, and then this will fit there. And then I can slide this whole part on top. So a lot of blah, blah, talking. Let me uh, kind of cut some of these. I'll have to trim back some of these tubes so, that, tubes so they'll fit. Let me trim these back, dry fit it, and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. And then, then we'll break out the epoxy and see if I can make it happen. So back in a flash. Okay, I kind of trimmed down the tubes. Let's see how this goes. So I want one centering ring the lower part here right about there I'm using a piece of motor mount tube that I've just kind of slit and help strengthen that joint just make sure that the edges aren't rolled into it and everything's good there with a small 54 millimeter motor casing so then this will go here and that kind of keeps that those two pieces together then up here we'll want another centering ring i may need to kind of work on that a little bit Oh, hey, sorry about that. Okay, let's try this again. And when I cut that tube, it kind of rolled the end of it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this will go like this. Use a piece of tape kind of to keep that outside coupler tight.
pinch that and hold it as tight as I can. Pull with the tape really tight. Okay. So here's going to be kind of a tricky part. Let's get the coupler tube. Through all of this mess. Trying to save as much of that as I can. Okay, so that'll be on there. Nice. Okay, so let's find the launch lug so we can kind of line things up. But let's hope that this goes down. tight but I'm not sure how I want to fix all that but that should be straight as it's going to get again Okay, that is how I'm going to try and fix this guy. Okay, I'm doing some prep work here. I've tried to rough that up, remove the outer glassine layer on the motor mount tube, sand it up, get everything kind of ready to put on there. Things dry fits good. Then on this, I've kind of like sanded the end of it so that when I slide it on, hopefully it'll go down over everything easily. I don't know. Maybe go ahead and wait for this part to cure before I try and shove that on. That's probably the best idea. I'm going to use this T88. Uh, Structural adhesive. This is really good stuff. West Systems makes some G Flex, which is pretty good. But it's not. It's thick, but it's not super thick. I'm hoping it'll soak in a little bit. I don't want too thin because it just runs, you know, in all the places I don't want it to. But that's what I'm going to do. It mixes uh, 100 to 83. So if I make 10 and 8.3 hardener and resin in a little cup, I'll make it up. And I'll go ahead and get this part put together. And let that cure. And then try to slide this over in the other centering ring. That way when I shove it on, I don't accidentally uh, move that centering ring too far. So let's try and get this going. The other trick is to not get it inside of the motor mount tube. So I get a big glob of epoxy. So try to be neat. Got a little epoxy brush I'm going to use, but here we go.
Okay, back at it. It's not fully cured, but it's been several hours. It's really hot out. So it's definitely set up enough where things aren't going to move. So let's get going on the next part of it. Putting that ring on. Fitting this. And then we'll slide the uh, upper section there on. So let me mix up some epoxy and we'll get going here again in a minute. Okay, mix up some more T88 epoxy. I loaded up some in a syringe so I can hopefully put it where I want to without getting it everywhere. So let's uh, get started on this. doing once this all cures is setting this really good and then doing a strip of fiberglass on the outside so all of this is just going to be part of I think we'll go with that, with that cure. <clears throat> okay, moving on to the next step here. I've sanded this down, wiped it down with some alcohol, cleaned it all off. So the plan is, now that I've got all the internal stuff kind of cured up, I've got a strip of triaxial carbon fiber and a strip of mylar. So what I'm going to try and do, as neatly as I can, mix up some West Systems laminating epoxy and put this strip down here, wrap it in the mylar so it's somewhat of a smooth finish. We'll see if that helps or not. If all else fails, it'll, just, it'll be rough anyway. So that's kind of the plan. So, I mean, I think it's structurally okay. 
I just want to uh, give it a little extra on the outside here since that tube was so close to that top uh, centering ring there. So hopefully this will reinforce it there with some carbon fiber. So that's the plan. And I'm going to mix up some laminating epoxy and uh, put on some gloves and try and do this without making too big of a mess. So uh, we will join back in when I get, get ready to start laying down the carbon fiber strip. Okay, mix up like 20 grams of, uh, let's say 24 from the hardener. It's five to one ratio. So mix up 20 grams of the West Systems 105 with the 206. It's supposed to be the slow hardener. So let's see if we can do this without making too big of a mess. I'm going to get a... Uh, and we'll just kind of go for it here. Man, it's so dang hot out here. Okay. We will know in the morning if this looks decent enough just to leave it like that. Carbon fiber reinforced. We'll see how that turns out in the morning. I don't know if the Mylar will really make a glossy finish, but it certainly won't hurt. Okay. We will be back in the morning to peel this off and see what it looks like. Well, I just peeled off the uh, masking tape and the mylar. So this is the carbon fiber wrap repair. Kind of how it looks. It's all cured. And I may sand that down a little bit. I'm just not worried about it. I don't know. It's kind of a ridge there on that transition. That's how it looks. So it's, uh, it's as strong as it's ever going to be. So hopefully that didn't add too much weight to it. Can't really tell by picking it up. But so uh, so that part's done. Now I need to uh, kind of put the electronics onto the new tray and get that all put together on the the new electronics bay. Weigh it. See if my parachute's still appropriate. I think I'm going to go with the simpler parachute. I've got a seven foot uh, rocket man chute, which is one of those. I think there's only four shroud lines on it. So um, rather than use that NASA style spherical chute, I think I'll use that one. Hopefully that'll pop open quicker. So anyhow, so that's where it is right now. So hopefully next I'll get the electronics bay and then we'll, uh, just check things out and see if it's ready to fly again. And it's probably going to be 
Oh, the next flight will probably be um, Airfest in Argonia. So let's also be taking the shapeshifter also to Argonia. I need to, uh, the parachutes are coming in from Wildman on that. I should expect, I'm expecting them this week. Um, then once they come in, we'll do some ejection testing on that and it should be ready to fly. So, anyhow, so that's where the uh, X-20 is. So, cross your fingers. <laughs>